new storm team. Welcome back to KX News at 10. We sure have been warm and we're going to get a cool down similar to last week. This one is coming into effect with another cold front and thunderstorm. So looking outside right now, we see some hazy skies. It's not too low on the visibility. Nothing like last month when we had that heavy smoke over North Dakota, but we can see just a faint white over the state and more that will be passing by. So chances are the northern part of the state will be seeing more of the wildfire smoke coming our way in the wake of that cold front. We'll get the north wind stronger then. And so we can see where these are now. These smoke forecasts, by the way, they're only working with what's there now. And so chances are some of this rain that's out there will help to get rid of some of those fires. And that rain's not disappearing. There must be some little kind of a glitch there. But in fact, it's going to be raining on top of those fires even further to the east while we have that cold front coming our way. Right now we're seeing something a little bit odd. Uh, so this is a stationary front right next to a cold front as the low pressure that is much further to the east is actually pushing back. It's been a stationary force and gaining a little bit more strength with what's similar to outer bands of a hurricane. Now what that means for us is that we're ending up with these lines of storms going across the state. It's going to be easier for those thunderstorms to develop in the afternoons and evenings. So as we look at the last few hours, everything's really dying down and it's not going to be here overnight. We're seeing the rain stop and then into tomorrow we'll see it pick back up. So in the afternoon hours, that cold front from the west will be coming in Montana and then slipping across the border into North Dakota, but remaining in the west for Wednesday night. Now, as we head into Thursday, though, this whole system, that cold front and the line of storms will continue to drift across the state. So Thursday afternoon, we'll start to see some of these storms across Highway 83 between Bismarck and Minot as well. And through Thursday night, some of these thunderstorms, uh, we might see some very small hail, some strong wind gusts with those special weather statements, but chances are we won't see that severe weather or anything very dangerous. So into Thursday night, things do start to calm down once again, but we'll remain with one line of rain there and then into Friday, it's all into eastern North Dakota. So looking at that first batch of rain through Wednesday night, giving you that idea that it's all staying off toward the west. But as we head in through Friday, we'll be seeing up to an inch in areas and otherwise as low as a quarter inch. Now, don't be surprised if we get a couple bare spots here. These will be scattered thunderstorms as they pass by. And so looking at that drought monitor to keep in mind, it'd be nice to get some rain where it's yellow, it's been dry, but not a drought. And then we do still have just this one sliver, this tiny corner of southwest North Dakota in that drought. So temperatures, we've been warmer than average. It's about 70 degrees right now, but overnight we'll be dropping down into the low 50s in southwest North Dakota and the upper 50s in the central part of the state and into tomorrow close to 90 for a lot of us. Uh, again, southwest North Dakota a little bit cooler with those low 80s, but we all do drop down in the temperature department Thursday, Friday out west. So Thursday out west into the 70s, but it takes another day for central North Dakota to see that cool down. By Friday, the rest of us will see that cold front pass, a northwest wind afterwards, and dropping those temperatures into the mid-70s. But that doesn't last long, Joel. We're going back right up toward 90 by Sunday. So, uh, yeah, don't get used to it is what you're saying. Yep, if you like that cool down, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's just have to wait. Thanks so much, Amy. Coming up next in sports, the best of the best go for round two on the court. Can the red All-Stars bounce back to take down the Blues? Love that and more after the break.